is Father Ken Lau and welcome to the Holy Week edition of the Nuggets for the Soul. In this episode, I would like us to meditate on what happened during the Last Supper. Maybe we, were, we, we could ask ourselves, what was going on in the mind of Jesus? Because he knew already that one of his disciples will betray him. In Matthew 26, verse 21, while they were eating, he said, I tell you the truth, one of you will betray me. Okay. He also knew that all of his disciples will desert him. Uh, he said there in Matthew 26, verse 31, on the way Jesus told them, tonight all of you will desert me. For the scripture says, God will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. He also knew that Peter would deny him three times. Uh, in the same chapter, verse 34, Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, Peter, this very night before the rooster crows, you will deny three times that you even know me. Okay. And the disciples represent all of us. Okay. We have denied Jesus, betrayed Jesus, and also deserted Jesus uh, by our sins. And yet Jesus, we see here his self-giving love and his unconditional love for each and every one of us that he gave us two uh, greatest gifts. Okay, One is the Eucharist. Okay. In Mark chapter 14, verse 22 to 24, it says there, As they were eating, Jesus took some bread and blessed it. Then he broke it in pieces and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take it, for this is my body. And he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it. He gave it to them, and they all drank from it. And he said to them, This is my blood, which confirms the covenant between God and his people. It is poured out as a sacrifice for many. Okay, So we see here the words of consecration being said at Mass. The bread will become the body of Christ and the wine will become the blood of Christ. And we see here the separation between the body and the blood. Of course, if we separate the body and blood, it means death. And Jesus would uh, suffer this horrendous death out of great love for us so that he will be able to give us uh, his body and blood uh, in the Eucharist to nourish our souls so that we'll be able to do the will of God and be able to go to heaven. And the second greatest gift that uh, Jesus gave us is the priesthood. Without the priesthood, there will be no Eucharist. And maybe some of you would ask, when did Jesus institute the priesthood? It is in the washing of the feet. The 12 disciples uh, represents the 12 tribes of Israel because they would continue the work of salvation that God has entrusted to, to Israel, okay? okay? Imagine Jesus choosing 12 weak, si sinful uh, disciples to, to do this work uh, of being a priest in order to be able to give us the, the Eucharist. So let's meditate on the, the self-giving, unconditional love of Jesus in during the Last Supper in order to give us the Eucharist and also the priesthood. God bless. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.